Okay, guys, let's see. Last one for this week is called Rosella. And I have not made a choice as to what I'm going to do for next week yet. So I can't give you a heads up as to what's going to happen next week. Because I don't know. Haven't got that far. Guess I need to do that. Um, so looks like we're aiming for this stylized rose sort of a pattern. They've got it here. And then in the background here, they've got a, like a clump of them right here. It's really cool. Um, with some other, other tangles around. Um, so it looks like it's fairly simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start with an open-ended spiral. Then we're going to do this kind of a shape. It's going to come out and it's going to kind of have a roundabout like that and then in. And about a third of the of the way because we're going to do two more. And it's going to connect here. It's going to kind of come up, kind of make that same shape and come down and go around and come down. It's really organic. So it looks like we can probably kind of make up whatever shape we want on this sort of thing as long as it's got kind of this curvy bit and some pieces coming toward that spiral. And then same thing again. We're going to make this sort of a leaf shape. With an another or a leaf shape here. So it's like a split leaf. So there's going to be three of them. They're going to be near where these spots are. See right here? These three spots where that indent is. That's where we're going to put this sort of leafy shape with another shape that follows sort of a triangular-ish shape where the two together make this sort of a leaf. And then they've got just making us this sort of jaggedy thorn stem thing. I'm not sure how much of that I want to put into mine. So I'm going to leave it out to start with and I'm going to put it in at the end. And let's give this a go. Turn on the light. So much better with light on. Get myself centered, zoom in a little bit. Okay, right about there. I really want to draw over here, so that means I need to turn turn my camera just a snudge, like not even an eighth of an inch. Put you way over. Okay. And then I'm going to give myself a border because I might tuck this guy up into a corner. I've got a little page today, so I may only do like two of them. This is a little one. It measures uh, three inches by three inches or thereabouts. I think I'm going to put one here. And then maybe another one here. We'll see. I may only put two. Sometimes I put three, but I may only put two. Something like that. I'm going to start kind of in this corner. So, get my pen. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do from the outside in just because that way I can control how big my spiral is better. Like that. Something like that. And then it comes out here and out here and it kind of makes a shape like this. And then I already have a spot there that I can kind of connect to. And so I want to go to about here and oop, I got really carried away with that. That not so good. Oh well, we'll cover it up with leaf. That 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 went with leaf. That went way wonky. 
So let's do a leaf shape like this. And then on one side of it, we're going to come up and down like that. And let's, let's hide this with a leaf by doing that. And this like that. That hides it pretty well. And like this. I like this leaf shape. I'm going to do this one on this side, which is opposite that other one, but I like it. Okay, so I've got to kind of, tuck, kind of tucked that one in to the corner. I should have moved it closer to this edge because I kind of wanted it behind the border, like coming out. So I'm going to do another one here. Like so. That's a better shape. I think. And then that's going to go off the edge. As is that. I do think I'm going to do one more because I really want one that's really off the edge. So I'm going to tuck one over here. Like that. that. I will put a border. I promise. Something like that. Then we can do that kind of scraggly Maybe it'd be easier to draw it with a fatter marker. Something like this. Nice thing about scraggly ones is that it doesn't matter really what you do and if you make a mistake because it's meant to be scraggly. Right? Okay, so I'm going to make myself a border. Not a very hard, fast border. I mean, it's there. Clearly it's there. 
but it's kind of also loose like that okay and then you can get some barbs on that sucker that there we go that looks like it's got barbs on it looks good called rosella which way is it going to live I think I want it this way. Like that. And this actually went really quick. The drawing itself, what, I'm at 11 minutes? That's actually very well. Very, very well. Um, I'm going to color using my STA Aqua Natural Brush uh, Pens. I'm just going to add a little color to these. It's going to be subtle because it's, you know I've chose pink on the pink paper on purpose to have a subtle gradient. And then I might put oh you know what I might put a little yellow in the middle. Here's my light yellow, and then I'll blend it. My lightest yellow. And then the green. Same thing. Just a light color green. It's not a dark color. It's just barely a hint of color and I'm doing that on purpose I just want a little something I don't really want it thick and dark and then I'm going to come back with my brush marker I mean my water brush and because these are um, water color markers, you can um, sorry, I'm thinking and talking at the same time doesn't work. Um, you can um, blend them with water. That's a little bit soggy. Hang on a second, need a tissue. My water brush is leaking more water out than I want, so I'm going to give it a little. And then, because this paper isn't meant for wet media anyway, but I'm just going to just lightly touch it with my water brush. I love these water brushes. I don't know if you can see it, but the, the water is in there. So you don't have to keep dipping back and forth. Uh, with the brush and yeah on this particular piece of paper it doesn't seem to be moving I think oh well that happens sometimes because um, this paper is not meant for wet media and sometimes the paper holds the ink better than other times this particular paper it's holding the ink so that's okay basically done. That was a quick and easy one and I'm glad I did that for the end of the week. I, like I said, have not looked at the patterns for next week yet so I can't give you like a heads up as to what I am planning for next week. Um, 
I'm just not well planned out today. But that's okay. It is what it is. This is a little one so I can zoom way in. All right, you guys have a really great day. Um, go out and do something nice for someone today and um, help the world be a better place. I could. Oh, gosh. I hate it when I do this. My, my, my art brain tells me I'm not done. My muse tells me you missed the opportunity for some shading. And I'm going to actually do a little, not a lot, on the outside, not inside the pattern. I want these to like stand out a little bit more from the background, if that makes sense. So I'm actually going to put the graphite on the outside of these shapes and then come in with my big blending stump and just give it a, a quick little smudge. And it's tough because the paper got a little wet so I'm trying really hard not to tear my paper. You know, had I been thinking, I would have done it first, but my muse told me that I had to stop what I was doing. I wasn't done. It needed something else. So, I'm just following instructions. You know, sometimes you got to follow instructions. Your art tells you. If you listen, your art tells you what to do. It really does. And, and it sounds absolutely 100% uh, crazy. You sound like a crazy person when you say your art's talking to you. But if you start to listen, it absolutely does talk to you. And you just have to go with that gut feeling. It wanted a little bit more darkness. It wanted to be... And I was probably outside of the thing for most of that. I am sorry because I was already all the way zoomed in and I'd forgotten that I was already zoomed in. So you probably saw mostly nothing of that and I am apologizing in advance. Well, in behind. I'm apologizing for that mistake. But my muse was speaking to me and I had to listen. It wanted that darkness because of the, the craggly. It just wanted a little something darker so now it feels happier how could it be happy when it wanted to be dark but I don't know but now it's happy so now I can be done you guys have a great day I will see you next week um, I will sit down and try to figure out what I'm planning on doing for next week and uh, go have myself some lunch and get ready for work and I am done for the day you guys have an awesome awesome week rest of the week and into the weekend. Yeah. Uh, see you on Monday. Bye-bye.